beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Star Child Tarot and I'm continuing with the astrology readings for June and today we're going to be doing Pisces so don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus if this doesn't resonate I want to thank you if you've already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much if you're new here, welcome I have got a playlist if you want to check out previous readings I also have another channel, Soul Magic Inspirations, and a card shop, an online shop, and a Patreon page. All the links are down below. I am going to be announcing a giveaway next week, a way you can win a free reading from me. Okay, so just to thank you all for your support. So today we're going to look at Pisces for June. What does Pisces need to know? And all the decks I'm using are my own design. And you can find these in my card shop, online card shop. So what does Pisces need to know for June? <clears throat> We've got the Nine of Coins. So this is my Tarot of the Witch Oracle, uh, Tarot deck. The Star. The Lovers. Wow. Wow. And the Six of Dagger, Six of Swords. Wow. Wow. Okay. What does Pisces need to know? So we've got the Witcher Cauldrons. The Warlock of Daggers. Three of Coins and the Tower. Had the Tower come out a few times. Okay. So we've got the Nine of Coins. So that's that independent energy, you know, doing well on your own, single, financially stable, you know, being okay on your own, you know, doing well. And it's clarified by the Witcher Cauldron. So that is the um, Queen of cups energy in the normal tarot okay so that is getting in touch with your feelings you could be uh have water in your chart oh we are talking about pisces <laughs> i've lost track of who i'm talking about so this is your energy you know this is your energy pisces cancer scorpio and we've got the star energy there so i feel you've been doing some healing and you've been manifesting there and we've got the Warlock of Daggers. So that's the King of Swords energy. So Air Sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So you could be manifesting this um, Air Sign. And then we have the Lovers card, which is that Soulmate energy. So this could be a Soulmate that's coming in. And with the Three of Coins, we have that collaboration, wanting to work together. And with the Six of Swords there, uh, it's moving away from the past. Okay, so whatever, you know situation you're in in the past you're moving away from that into the future and we've got the tower energy there clarifying that so it could be sudden upheaval sudden change okay so this could all happen quite suddenly or unexpectedly okay this could be unexpected this soulmate coming in and you're moving away from the past you've been manifesting this and then when it turns up it could be quite surprising so let's go a bit deeper so why have we got the Nine of coins there. Wow, we have the two of cups energy. So although you're happy being single, you're open to love. And as I say, that two of cups, it does look like there's love coming in. We've got the lovers here. We've got the queen of cups. And we've got the uh, king of swords energy. So what's the star? We've got the hangman. So yeah, I think you took time out. You know, you took time out from relationships, I feel. And you spent that time alone and going within, seeing things from a different perspective. And then you were in a good energy of being okay, being independent, being alone. And we've got the Warlock of Bonds over the Lover's energy here. So some of you could be connected with a fire sign here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay. And you're moving away from the past. We've got that Six of Daggers and we've got the Empress energy. You're now... Coming into your Empress energy, okay, whether you're a man or a woman, 
you're coming into that feminine aspect, you're abundant, you're loving, you're nurturing, you're kind, you're attracting a lot of attention, okay, because you're, you're glowing, you know, you're really glowing right now, so what can you tell me about the Witcher Cauldrons? Yeah, we've got the Ace of Cauldrons. So there's definitely a brand new beginning in love. And I feel this is your energy as well. You're in that energy of self-love, okay? And with, with that Empress energy especially, and with that energy, you're feeling good about yourself. And we've got Justice coming in with the Witch. Justice of the Witch coming in over the King of Swords. So there could be something there with a uh, air sign, okay? Justice is coming in over that. So what's that talking about? We've got Three of Cauldrons. So maybe there was a third party situation in your past, okay, which you did walk away from and, you know, you're now getting justice, okay, and you're coming into a good time for yourself, as I say. And we've got that three of coins and we've got judgment, yeah, judgment's coming in, this is divine, okay, this is divinely guided, you're getting justice, judgment here. Okay, you're in that Empress energy and it's unexpected with that tower energy. Yeah, and we've got the Wheel of the Witch, the Wheel of Fortune energy. So, you know, the tide is turning here in your situation. You're coming into a new cycle. Okay, you've released a lot of karma. You've done that healing. You're now in that Empress energy. You're in a really good place. Anything else about this? Yeah, we've got seven of coins. So you're prepared to put in the work. You're prepared to put in the effort. You know, sow those seeds to reap the harvest. To have that, you know, proper connection. Anything else? We've got the, the junior witch of daggers, which is a page of daggers. So, you know... Page of Swords, somebody could have been watching you or you could have been watching somebody online. Okay, keeping an eye on you there. And we've got Ace of Coins, so a brand new beginning, you know, a brand new start coming in here. So let's look at your love messages. Love messages for Pisces. Love messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about love? So again, this is one of my decks. Love magic oracles one and two. It's in my shop. Wow, we've got time to love. A chance meeting so for some of you it could be a chance meeting because we did have that tower energy okay an unexpected meeting you're gonna have shared interests with this person i've got lucky black cat so your luck is changing i feel that's the sign your luck is changing some of you could meet through friends okay this soulmate energy here Yeah, we've got that ending and new beginning card. So, yeah, you're coming out of one cycle. We had that tower energy. We had the Wheel of Fortune energy there. Okay, this is like the death card for me in the tarot. So, yeah, you're coming out of one period of your life into a new start here, new beginnings. And we've got feeling spicy. So, yeah, I feel you're, you know, feeling very spicy towards each other, this person. And we've got magical words. So, yeah, you could have been manifesting or they could have been manifesting you, this person. We've got tender loving. It's a very tender connection. Yeah, lustful feelings. Very passionate, very loving. Hunger for you. So, a lot of passion and desire here. Wow. And then we've got marry me. So that could lead to a commitment ultimately for some of you. Wow. Obviously not straight away. Um, but you never know. We've got that tower energy. Who knows? <laughs> so let's get some final messages from my 
Magical Moon Oracle, Final Guidance for Pisces. You know, we've got focus on healing. So I, I feel you did, you know, I feel you have spent some time healing because we had that star card energy come out there. Surrender to the moonlight. Yeah, work with that moon energy. You know, we just had that new moon and we're coming into the full moon energy. Work with that moon energy. You know, set your intentions out there. There's new opportunities on the horizon coming in. Anything else? Believe in magic. Believe in magic because, you know, that way we create our own magic. And there's a new start on the horizon here. So, yeah, we can see that there's a beautiful new beginning here. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Sending you love and blessings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Bye for now.